Hi, I'm Linda Tellington Jones, and I am the founder of the Tellington Tea Touch Method. This is a method for dogs, horses, cats, humans, all animals actually, and it has four basic parts to the work. The Tea Touch body work, which is what I'm going to show you now, the ground exercises that are, we call it the playground for higher learning, which have various elements that dogs walk through, over, between, but not like agility, not fast, just slowly coming into a new place of balance and focus. And then we have various equipment and harnesses that we've developed over many years. And our basic philosophy, this philosophy that in order to change our animal's behavior, performance, relationship, or well-being, we need to change our minds. And we need to learn to see our animals as we would like them to be interesting challenge. Now, um, today what I'm going to do is show you the basic one and a quarter circles and the intention of this moving the tissue in one circle and a quarter is the idea of, of supporting and activating cellular communication and the genius of the cells. And what's behind all of this actually when we recognize the genius of the cells, the fact that every cell in the body knows its function within the body, which is what got me passionate in 1976 when I read that statement by Sir Charles Sherrington, a Nobel Prize winner. The fact is, why does this work? Because when we address the genius, address the genius of the cells, we're really connecting you know, with universal consciousness with divine consciousness in every cell in our body and when we work with our dogs in this way and we practice seeing the beauty just holding the intention of ideal function or the perfection at the cellular level miracles begin to happen and it's just like all over the body. That's one of the beautiful. Whatever part of your hand is easy for you to use to reach, we do everything. The head, the muzzle, the neck, the body, the back, the legs, the tail, every part. And when you do this, it gives the dog a new sense of themselves. It grounds them. And the beautiful thing is it develops a very special cell to cell, heart to heart, and soul to soul connection with your dog. And the beautiful thing is anybody can do this. That's why I love to share the work. Um, he's here because I heard about T-Touch and like things like this coarse fur that mm -hmm. comes and goes on the back of his, uh, on his back or on his neck. Um, you know, I was told that T-Touch, you know, pays attention to things like that and doesn't try to fix them. Right. <laughs> but um, can help. Uh, and he, he has been actually diagnosed with hip dysplasia, is that he, correct? Yes, he was diagnosed um, very early at six months old um, <clears throat> with uh, laxity in his joints. And it has definitely progressed. Um, throughout his life, most recent um, radiographs once he was an adult um, show um, bone spurs in the hip joint uh -huh. and, and everything. So, um, what, let's just, um, one of the things I want to teach you is the basic circular touches over the whole body. Because when he has something going on with the hips, mm -hmm. what we want to do is focus, first of all, on what's good, which is mm -hmm. a lot of it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so we, we do that. I hold the thumb and use, just do one and a quarter circles and a little slide on the hair because he has this beautiful coat that we can use for... Let's see if we can... I'm, I'm going to undo this. That's a boy. There you go. Good. We'll just let him. That's a very good dog. Yeah. 
So sometimes, oh, we, we, he'll, he'll be fine there. Sometimes I use the back of my hand. Yes, because he, he doesn't know T-Touch yet, does he? Right. It's a very good dog. And I just move the tissue, the skin, in one circle and a quarter, in whichever direction feels right to me. And that will depend on which hand you're using and the side that you're on. Sometimes that will change. Just do what just comes what comes naturally to you. It's a very good dog. Yeah. So the pressure I'm using right now is what we call like I'd say that's a, a three. We we like this. Stay, just stay right here. I want you to feel this on your, just, mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing. Okay. See, it's not a lot of pressure. And the whole idea here is just to support the communication between the cells. Mm -hmm. Good dog. There. And this is really good. Like, he's fine about me going all the way down to the paws. Somehow, you know how some dogs are sensitive? Mm -hmm. Now, on the tail, also, I'm going to do the circular T-touches. I hold with the thumb on one side, and I'm just using the side of my finger. We use many, many different parts of the hand. Whatever is easy. Ah. Good. Nice, easy. Wait. Good boy. Now, one of the things I really, I'm impressed with, the fact that he has had this all these years, hip dysplasia, mm -hmm. and he's really confident about me touching him anywhere here. Yeah. He's not sensitive about it. Now, uh, again, I'm using like a two and a half, a three pressure. Easy boy, stay here with me, please. Yes. That's it. And so the idea with this to start with, we're just going to go over the entire body and give him a sense of his body, all the stuff that's working well, because he's a nice-looking, healthy-looking dog, isn't he? Thank you, yes. <laughs> that's really good. That's really good. So I can start on the side of the cheeks like this. And then I go a little more forward. Circle and slide. Nice. Good. It's a very good dog. Yeah. Good. Now you just do it one time. Just let's. And just you hold with one hand mm -hmm. and circle with the other. That's good. Nice. And really like pay attention to your breathing. So like keep your breathing going. That's very nice. Good. And those little pauses are really great. And the fact that you can touch him everywhere, Kristen, here is really good because if a dog has you know discomfort somewhere mm -hmm. you he'll not want you to be touching him there mm -hmm. and so what we found with, in this case with hip dysplasia we have numerous veterinarians who some of them on their own dogs found that if they would do t-touch mm -hmm. every day like three or four minutes not more mm -hmm. and, and just focusing on that whole hip area um, a little bit but bringing awareness to the whole body Mm -hmm. without pushing like and so that the dog um, accepts it and by that mean I mean he stays mm -hmm. still he just likes that it's really nice good and if you would even do that much every day mm -hmm. in conjunction because you're doing other stuff too right yes yeah he does chiropractic and acupuncture Perfect. and hydrotherapy and, and just about everything. You can really see that from the, mm -hmm. from the way his body is feeling. Thank you.